and we'll just but, deal, we'll just deal with your shifty Wi-Fi. So no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Exactly. We'll just we're putting the good energy out there. Okay. Was that coffee? Did you just drink coffee? No water. <laughs> oh, okay. I was gonna say. I'm like, wow, you're hardcore. Coffee this late at night. <laughs> All right. You ready, Avi? I'm ready. M L V C. Excuse me, but I'm singing in one key and you're singing in another. Poor is the man whose pleasures depend on the permission of another. Open the door now and stop 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 Just give me a fan. I don't trust any man who hasn't kissed another man. I'm waiting. All right, people, it's time to get your dancing shoes on. You're listening to M L V C. It's all Madonna. You're listening to MLVC, the Madonna podcast, your place for all things Madonna Louise Veronica Ciccone. I'm your celebration tour correspondent, Stefan. And today on the show, we have Avi, who attended Madonna's celebration tour at the O2 in London. She's back in the UK, kids. Oh, this is where you're supposed to say hi. All right. <laughs> hi. Hi. I'm so excited to see you. Yeah. I know. I'm glad we're able to make this happen. Thanks for skipping the after party and going yeah. directly, directly back to your accommodations. <laughs> uh, it was a. It was the only choice. The only choice. <laughs> after party. MLVC after exactly. party MLC. It's a come exactly. on. It's a it's a it's a win win. You know. No um, brainer. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, so as everyone knows, Madonna is back in London for her final two nights if, of her European leg, and then we finally get her back after after waiting for months. The United the United States North America finally gets our queen back. So. I hope you all have enjoyed Madonna in the UK and other countries because uh, now it's you're so lucky. I feel like after tonight, I might book that plane ticket to stateside to to see it round two. So this was your first night seeing the show, yes? This was the first time, yeah. And what are your thoughts? Ah. Uh, like, I, I think I'm a, at a loss for words a little bit. It was just beyond my expectations. Like, I kind of read a few things here and there and saw a few little spoilers on, like, social media, but I didn't deep dive into it like I normally have done in the past. Um, but I was blown away, honestly, blown away. Where were your seats? Um, we had the, uh, what was it called? Uh, the Where's the Party Package. Okay. Um, so, so you were, you were we VIP. Like, VIP. Um, we had like seats on the raised section, uh, like kind of next to like, the right hand side of the stage. So pretty close. I could come see her. I couldn't smell her. Just uh, <laughs> wasn't that close, but uh, it was pretty good. Pretty good seats. So it was like you weren't, you were the first section up from the floor. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I, I think that's an actually a great place to see the show. Yeah, yeah, because you can see like all the screens, and then when they tra- when she travels in that little window thing, um, it's quite nice to kind of like have a little bit of a vantage point for everything to kind of take it all in. Well, it's also because the stages are so high. Like I'm, I mean, yeah. I'm the next time I see the show, I'm floor, um, <clears throat> but I. I'm like, thank God I'm tall, but like the, the stages, she's must be so high up, but you know, seeing her from that first level vantage point would actually be quite nice. So. Yeah. That was the thing. There, there was like some, um, like there was some signs or like some flashing signs around the arena saying like, what's that me join my community. And some of you might like, um, get to the pit or whatever. So I was like, ooh, texting away. And it's like, <laughs> that'd be me. No one else is texting. But then it was like the whole rigmarole of like logging into your Spotify yeah. and da da da. And yeah. I kind of, I don't know, like the wine took over. So I was like, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so for those people not in the know, because I did have a couple people, for some strange reason, I, the podcast got tons of people messaging us today asking people like i i'm trying to get into the pit please help 
I, I admire everyone's thoughts that the podcast actually has that much influence. Uh, we are not responsible for the, the pit contest. Uh, in the venue, before every show, there is, uh, it flashes around the perimeter of the venue saying, text or whatsapp this mm. number and you have to, i think you say i'm in i think wow. is what it is you have to put or like what oh, i forget what it is you have to text to this number and that enters you into the chance of possibly being winning a spot in the pit now i did this when i was in paris um oh. i did not hear i i like madonna was like add me to your your contact list and and love you know and so i was so i have madonna in my contact list but um i did not get in the pit so i I don't know who did if anyone did but um for those wondering you can only do it when you're in the venue when it pops up on the venue screen you cannot do it before you cannot do you know like you have to wait till you're inside the venue and then they will tell you when to do it so be ready Get get your phones ready because that's and good luck. But don't mess. I didn't with me. realize I didn't realize that it was other cities as well. But that's cool. Yeah, apparently they're doing it at every show. Um, but like I said, yeah, don't message me because you're wasting your time. I, I have I have no pull. It's Madonna's team. I don't know how they organize it or who wins, if anyone. But um, I think it then after you do it. it does direct you to logging into your Spotify account and you have to play like a trivia game of, and they're not some, they're not easy trivia questions. Like (laughs) I like to think I'm pretty up on my Madonna trivia. I did not get the 20 questions. Right. Let me just tell you. Oh, really? I think I missed three and I was like, Oh, that's a lot. I don't know if the questions are, if you get them right, then you might be able to like get in the pit. Or if you get them wrong, you don't. I don't know how that works. Um, I, I, I don't know because I didn't get them right. So maybe that's why I didn't get in the pit. I don't know. But who, who knows? Anyway, so you didn't get in the pit, but I think your seats were still no. probably fantastic, right? They were good. They were good. But next time, if there's a next time, when there's a next time, maybe I'll be in the pit. Uh, so where, where 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 is home, Avi? Uh, I currently live in Hong Kong, actually. Oh, did you commute from Hong Kong for this show? That's Ooh. right. That's right. You are not messing around. No, no. I've only seen Madonna once in Hong Kong, and that was the Rebel Heart tour. Um, but every time I've seen her, I've traveled, obviously, near and far. Now, where would you fly to uh, in the States if you were to see her? Maybe New York. You know, her kind of home home turf. So you're aiming for the MSG shows next year, not not because after London next week, she will take up residency at Barclays in Brooklyn, uh, I think on the 13th and what is it? The 13th, 14th and 16th. I believe she's in Barclays. Um, Mm. So you probably wouldn't do those shows. You you would, that's that's probably a little too quick for you. You'd probably be aiming for, for uh, her MSG shows next year. So yeah, that'd be fun, right? A little, little New York vacation. Exactly. Exactly. I I travel only for Madonna. (laughs) (laughs) Um, so what were your highlights of the show? There are so many. I've been trying to think of like what was my favorite part, but I guess like the all of her tour openings, I'm just like a, a hot mess when she kind of appears out of the stage or where, however she does it. And this one was great. Like I loved the Bob the Drag Queen intro. I thought it was quite nice, like quite nice. Like, it was getting everyone excited, and then she just, like, kind of appears. Um, so nothing really matters. It was great. I loved... Um, I'm a ballad. I stand Madonna's ballads. Mm-hmm. So, like, Live to Tell, oh, that was just... You know, I was super emotional during that. Uh, Rain was great as well. Um, all, all of it. Honestly, all of it. I was just... <laughs> Like in all, yeah. 
No words, no words. But yeah. Um, so I, I don't, if you've not been spoiling anything for yourself there for each night of the show, there is always a different person who sits next to her mm. during the Vogue ballroom scene. Um, there was a very nasty rumor being spread around the internet, which I actually mm. perpetuated because I bought into it because I was so no. excited. I was so excited when I heard it. Um, somebody shared a rumor that Kylie Minogue was yeah. the Vogue ballroom a participant. Of course, yeah. it wasn't. And mm. um, uh, shame on whoever started that rumor. I, I, I got a God bless the Madonna fans who have so much time on their hands that they just want to spread these rumors to incense the Madonna fandom because it was like running around the internet like instagram twitter blah, yeah. blah, blah. everyone was t- t- talking about it um i should know better than to participate in the the, the rumor spreading but i do think i just was excited at the thought of like they're gonna be together for the first time we've never yeah. gotten a picture with them and uh and it didn't happen um although i was excited to see that charlie hunan was mm. with her because charlie hunan is beautiful Yes. Yes. Agreed. Although the picture that I've seen, and I've not seen the video, so I don't know how he is during the moment, but, and you can tell me this, Avi, but he looked a little lost in the picture. I was like, he, he didn't really look like he knew what was going on. <laughs> yeah. Like when I saw him go up on stage, I kind of, I recognized him immediately. And I was like, oh, it's not Kylie. <laughs> um, and then very quickly, I was kind of like, he just seemed a bit, I don't know, like shy or not not into it. But, you know, he was kind of like nodding along, almost like, I don't know, like his manager or something put him up there. Like, right, right, right. <laughs> but I, I mean, all the all the gays were loving it. Oh, of I course. I love yeah. that he was wearing the Blonde Ambition t-shirt. But I was just like... Yeah. Seriously, Charlie Hunam should have just been shirtless. I mean, he's beautiful. Yeah. I wanted, because, like, when some of the dancers, like, coming up and, like, grinding on him, I wanted them to kind of lift, lift his shirt up or something <laughs> and, like, wanted him to get involved a little bit more. But, I mean, I couldn't really see, but I didn't seem like he was grinding back. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Which <Yes. I'm> thinking... <laughs> some of the people are a little bit more into it than others. Um, yeah. I'm surprised, considering that Charlie Hunam was in the British version of Queer as Folk, that mm. you'd think that he would be, like, really into it, but I, maybe he's he's left that that behind. It's an odd... I don't know, choice? Is that the wrong word? But, like... I think well, the, so somebody had messaged me saying, oh, didn't they date? Didn't Madonna and Charlie Hunam date back in the 90s? Uh, no, I believe they had a dinner. And that okay. to me does not constitute as dating. Um, yeah. Plus, I also think in the 90s, Charlie Hunam was in high school. Uh, also, so yeah. I think I think he's far too young, like unrealistically young at the maybe 21 or something in the 90s. Mm. But, uh, like, I don't think that was what was happening. Yeah. No. <laughs> but it wasn't Kylie anyway. No, I mean, I guess there's still time. I mean, maybe Kylie tomorrow. Could do tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. Um, although, and I will say this, if Kylie is on stage with Madonna at any point in the future of this tour, if they don't sing a duet of something, it will be a missed opportunity. Like if she's just up there sitting next to Madonna, holding up a, a 10, you know, like, and they don't actually have them sing anything missed opportunity. Like I need yeah. like either Madonna to like duet with Kylie on Padam or Kylie duets with Madonna on Vogue, you know, like something I need, like they need to intertwine in their world somehow. Well, speaking of Vogue, like I think at, at, the, at the beginning when I kind of heard like the, cause there was the Queens remix with like Beyonce and, I don't know, maybe in my head, like, it, like my head was like trying to connect the dots, like, who's going to be the Vogue, like, judge? And I was like, oh, maybe it's Beyonce, because she was in London for her, like, renaissance, 
like film premiere okay. recently. Mm-hmm. And then in my head, I was like, it's going to be Beyonce. Everyone's wrong. It's not Kylie. It's Beyonce. It's Beyonce. <laughs> and then Charlie Hunnam like comes up on stage and I was like, okay, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a feeling we will see Beyonce at some point join right? Madonna. We have to. like We have to. The original run of the show had Beyonce and Madonna in Texas mm. at the same time. And the one night Madonna was on, Beyonce was not. And the next night, yeah. Beyonce was on and Madonna was not. So I assumed they were going to be sharing stage time on each other's tours. Of course, Renaissance is now finished, but right, it's finished, right? It's done. It's the thing, yeah. Okay. Well, because I, I get confused because Taylor Swift's tour is still going. Like, her Taylor's tour film is in the theaters, but the tour is still happening. So I don't Yeah. I couldn't, I didn't know if Renaissance was the same thing, but I thought Renaissance was over. But I have a feeling we will see Beyonce pop up. There's hoping. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, for sure. Uh, what did you think of the costumes and the looks that were cavorting around on stage? Oh, again, I'm just like blown away. I loved, I, th- I guess my last thing impression was the last, um, the last act, like where she has like that wedding veil thing. And then the I call it, I call it the cracked out nun, even though it's not. Yeah, I love it. I don't even remember when she first wore it, but I like, it's beautiful. Um, and I loved how all the dancers were dressed up like her. That was amazing. I loved the opening outfit, um, that like crown thing. And like, there's like some detailed like jewel that comes across her like uh, forehead. I want one. <laughs> um, just <laughs> say for Christmas, Halloween, special occasions. <laughs> cool. um, I liked the. Um, and then what she kind of changes into straight away, like that kind of, it's like a body, uh, not, a, not a body suit, but like this Navy thing. I don't know. It was beautiful. Her little, well, yeah, it's not a boosty. I mean, it's like a boosty a type of yeah. combo, but um, for for the eighties, yeah. for the eighties section, it's, it's, yeah. quite, it's quite nice. Yeah. I love that outfit. I think that's one of my favorites too. Yeah. I loved it. I loved it. And I heard oh, she sang, the, she heard she sang a little cause and a commotion. Cool tonight she did she did i loved that part it was because at first i was like is she singing live and then i was like no she's definitely singing live oh yeah she's oh, yeah. yeah yeah um, um bedtime story outfit as well was one of my favorites that kind of bejeweled all-in-one cat suit number that was cool was yeah really cool absolutely FYI, Avi, you're, you should complain to your um, Airbnb people about how craptastic their Wi-Fi is because you're freezing left and right. And quite oh, really? amu- quite amusing faces <laughs> when you freeze, just letting you know. Um, Not cute faces? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you're freezing to everyone watching on YouTube, but you're freezing to me. So um, every now and uh, again, you're, you're just stuck like... <laughs> enthusiastic. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very a very enthusiastic open mouth face. Hey, if you're not open mouth on a on a you know talking about Madonna at one point or another, is it really a successful Madonna conversation? There you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wink, wink. Right. Um, how long are you in London for? Are you seeing her again tomorrow? No, I wish. I'm leaving tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. Oh, you have time. I have time. Okay, I'll look. I'll look. Just go to the O2. Get a you know, get a get a cheap ticket. There's, I'm sure there's got to be something, right? That sure has yeah. to be. You know, like there was like one or two seats that I saw not filled. Or just go on Ticketmaster. I'm sure there's got to be an open. I mean, you don't fly all the way from, you know, Asia to just see one night of Madonna. I mean, <laughs> come on. I know, but I'm saving myself for New York, baby. That's true. Would you go see her multiple times in New York too, or are you just like one city and done? No, I'll, maybe I'll try to see her t- like twice or something. Yeah, I think it kind of has to. If you're going to come all that way, yeah. Did you get any merchandise tonight at the show? I 
did. I got because right, uh, right now you're not wearing any. No, no, no. I got uh, this. Oh, Dita. Hello, Dita. Yeah. That's that's, that's yeah, what yeah. I got too. I love that. I just got this, and I really wanted to get the blonde ambition jacket because I saw that it was available again. <laughs> it was. It was quite. It is quite pricey. It's a little, and it was almost the same amount of money that I spent on the ticket. So (laughs) I held off on it, but I I might go back tomorrow morning. (laughs) Well, but see, that's a good point. You know, you could uh, buy the blonde ambition jacket or buy another ticket. Mm -hmm. But I was really surprised at the, how good the quality of the blonde ambition jacket was. I kind of thought it was going to be like nothing, but it was probably actually worth the amount they're charging. Yeah, it's, I mean, I got, I, in my infamous, uh, story with the blonde ambition jacket, I got it. I wanted to love it, but it didn't fit me right. And so I yeah. sold it. Um, but the quality is amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. It's really, really good. So if, so if you, if you like a bomber style jacket and you have a skinny waist that will fit the bomber you know, the tight bomber elastic waist, it's for you. Although it is pricey when you buy it at the venue. What was it, like 350 It was like 225 pounds. Oh, that's actually, no, that's super cheap. I, when I, it was in Paris, it was like 350 pounds. Oh, really? Or like 350 euro or something like that. Yeah, it was super expensive. Oh. <laughs> oh, you should have got that. See, that's, if, if that was only two twenty five, that was that's that's a good deal. You should have snatched well, that up. I, I first saw it, and then I it, like the view was skewed, so I could only see like twenty five, and I was like, "Ooh, that's cheap." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. Oh, so you didn't get the the confessions because I think there's a couple of new items. Uh, there's the 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 Dita mask. There's oh, yeah. the the confessions tour riding crop that she uses in future lovers right. and who, yeah. doesn't, who doesn't want a confessions tour riding crop so we can all reenact the future lovers choreography i mean i saw a lot of people buying that actually that was a popular popular item it's hysterical um people getting smacked left and right during the concert wow <laughs> Stop yeah. hitting me <laughs> i really wanted a tour booklet because every time I've gone to see her, I've always gotten a tour booklet. But yeah, it's not happening. Nothing. It's not happening. It's not happening. Just like Ty- just like Kylie Minogue on stage tonight, it's not happening. Yeah, sad. I, th- I think we all need to give it up. Get, uh, you know, it's we all want the tour book. No, actually, like I had said to our my last guest who was in Amsterdam, um, we have to do reverse psychology with Madonna. So because she always doesn't do what we ask her to do. So. Mm-hmm. Madonna, we do not want a tour book. Yeah, we do not. No. Madonna never put out a tour program for the celebration tour. We don't want it. And then oh, hopefully, ho- hopefully okay. that will work. <laughs> um, what was your favorite number from the show? Oh, I like I said, I'm I'm a, I'm a ballad fan of hers. So, mm, crazy, for you, crazy for you, crazy for you. Because yeah, there was no, actually, there's one. not a lot of ballads in the show, right? I think it's just there's live to tell uh, that little slice of crazy for you, and then a little bit of rain, and that's it. Yeah, I didn't realize that she sang human nature as well. Yeah, but that's that yeah. The, the human nature and crazy for you, it's kind of just like a little bit of the song. It's not the full song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I oh mother and father. I, I thought was a great a great moment. That was really sweet. There was one moment where like her and David had a little interaction, and I think he like mouthed "I love you" to her, and that was super cute. Yeah, it's all oh. I guess I guess we can call, consider. I mean, I guess we can consider "Bad Girl" a, a, a ballad. Oh yes, that that was amazing. That was. Beautiful. See, I don't think of "Bad Girl" as being a ballad just because it, there's a little bit more of a beat to it you know but mm. i guess in the grand scheme of things that's a ballad yeah it's a ballad it's a ballad and like mercy james playing the piano that kind of adds a little bit of like kind of i don't know realness to it yeah it's kind of chic ballad vibes yeah <laughs> um 
Well, Avi, I know it's late and um, yeah, I'm sure you have to, you've got to get some rest so you can go back and do it all again tomorrow. Right, exactly. Or fight for your blind ambition jacket, whichever whichever you choose. I don't, I don't, I don't know, whatever you're in the mood for. Um, but before if, anyone, you, if anyone's listening and wants to kind of gift me something for Christmas, you'll blind ambition. Yeah. you'll you'll trade you'll trade them a free workout, right? You'll 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 exactly. train you'll train them, you know, some sort of like high intensity workout for a blind ambition jacket. There you go. There you go. So it's a win win. Who wouldn't want to, to train with me? <laughs> um, before you go, we're going to do a little segment we like to call the lightning round. Those answers are just meant to be quick off the top of your head, wherever you're at in your Madonna journey. Don't think too hard. Favorite Madonna song? Take a bow. Favorite Madonna album? Music. Favorite Madonna music video? Oh. Uh... So many. Um, b- uh, bad girl, bad girl. I'm always like captivated whenever I watch that, and I want to know more about like the story. Like, who is she, <laughs> and who's the guy? Yeah, I, I think we we should we deserved to have like a feature length film about Louise Oriole. You know, like how did she get so jaded? Yeah. I want to know, and I want them to ca- kill her. <laughs> yeah, like what? Where did she get her cat? Was it adopted? Was it you know? Was it a, was it a rescue? <laughs> <laughs> um, favorite Madonna tour? Um, Blonde Ambition because it's so iconic, and that's I guess kind of uh, like I just watched that to death on VHS. But maybe also, if I can cheat a little bit and say um, Sticky and Sweet, because I saw that in L.A. and I was like fifth row or fourth row or something. And in front of me was Heidi Klum. Next to me was Drew Barrymore. Next to me, down the row, was Ryan Seacrest. So it was kind of like this great... And that was the show that Britney and Justin um, came out. So that was kind of fun as well. It was just... Yeah, a great experience overall. Nice. Okay. Yeah, most people don't say sticky and sweet, but hey, if you're surrounded by that many celebrities, I can understand why. Right. Yeah. Favorite Madonna movie? Evita. And she was robbed of an Oscar nomination. Indeed, indeed she was. Yes, she was. It was criminal. The criminal. Chosen. Yeah, I think they should still go back and count the votes again because they <laughs> who beat her? Who who was the one who who? I for, I don't, nobody see nobody even remembers who who won that year. No, it's it no. a crime. It was a crime. Okay. A crime again. In, in in my heart, she won. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad she got the Golden Globe, but yeah, she deserved the Oscar. Yeah, agreed. Favorite Madonna look, and this can be from a photo shoot, a tour, a movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe this is a bit of an unpopular opinion, but I feel like Guy Ritchie era Madonna, like swept away, and like I'm going to tell you a secret. Like I don't know, like she just was so radiant, and like her hair was on point, whatever was going on in her face was on point, her looks were on point. I'm like, yeah, beautiful Guy Ritchie era. Oh, okay. Don't get me. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, I think she looks beautiful all the time, you know, but it's, um, uh, well, Avi, thanks for giving us your impressions of Celebration Tour. Tell everyone where they can find you on social. Oh, um, my handle on Instagram is Sweat with Avi, A-V-E-Y. Sweat with Avi. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll tag you so that way they can find you. Uh, <clears throat> and remember, everybody, you can find ML- MLVC on Instagram, Twitter, and threads at MLVC Podcast. If you'd like to donate to the show, we're on Venmo at MLVC Podcast. If you've not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, tick that subscribe button so you never miss a video. We're going live with other f- listeners and fans from around the world for the remainder of the celebration tour. So make sure you check that out. Also, if you're looking for a really great holiday gift for your fellow Madonna fan and you have some money left over from 
uh, from from the tour. Check out the MLVC <laughs> merch. I've got. I'm wearing the one T-shirt. I'll see you later at the function. Uh, we have a Red Bubble store. I also there's a new T-shirt up there that says, "Love is all we need." And honestly, what more could you want than a "Love is all we need" T-shirt? So visit our Red Bubble channel. <laughs> A link in our Instagram bio. Yeah. Oh, always gotta, always gotta promote the the goods, right? Plug, yeah, plug, plug, plug. Merry Christmas, you know. <laughs> um, Avi, do you sing? Are you, are you able to sing? Um, I can, yeah. I was gonna say I'm take us. I was, oh, I was gonna say take us out. Sing us, uh-huh. sing us a Madonna ballad as we go. To, as we not go to commercial. <laughs> we don't go to commercial here. We're just uh, as we end. We'll say say goodbye to everybody then. Bye. <laughs> I was going to sing a line, but I don't miss. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to sing. Stay with me. Don't hang up yet. I'm going to end the live. Until next time, everybody. Okay. This is where we would be hearing Avi sing, but we're not because he's not. <laughs> <laughs> if I ran away. There we go. <laughs>